push the numbered pegs into their correct numbered holes. Now push the nose into position, and then the eyes. We have also provided you with a choice of using finished eyes, if you prefer. Sausage-shaped clay is pushed into the pegs to rebuild the cheek area. The peg should be just visible when the clay is smoothed down. The finished cheeks. Prepare several strips of clay three millimeters thick and lay them over the whole skull.
Make two round balls of clay, about 12 millimeters or half an inch in diameter, and place them to widen the nostrils. Make thin sausage-shaped pieces and place them under and over the eyeball. These will form the eyelids. Use the tools to smooth the eye area and to cut the eyelid shape. The lower lip is made from a roll of clay pointed at either end. The upper lip is made from two pieces to produce the characteristic shape. Placing two flat pieces like this creates a valley, which becomes the philtrum groove. This shows how useful the tools are in scraping, blending, and cutting. Water is very effective as a lubricant and can be used to fuse joints together, smooth out blemishes, and to polish. You will find this ear armature will make this task a great deal easier, as the clay can become soft with handling, but the shape remains rigid.
Use water to cool the clay. You will need to add two pieces for some additional bulk to create the ear folds. Use of the tools are a great help at this stage. Water is used here to cool the clay and act as a polishing lubricant. To fit the ear, you will need to find the location hole, which is just behind the jaw. 